Good morning! It is time for a new video and this time I thought I would focus more on the pregnancy since I totally forgot in the last video and today we are going for like a special blood test you take like a blood test when you haven't eaten in 12 hours and then you drink like a sugar thing like glucose something and then you wait for an hour and then you take another blood test to see if you have like how your sugar levels are going and I guess they're looking for like if you developed diabetes during pregnancy or something but yeah I thought I would bring you guys along and then I will do like a proper pregnancy update and show you some of the stuff we got for the baby first test done so I am back home after the blood tests okay it's actually like five days later <laughs> but I didn't really film that much of the blood test because first I did the blood test the one you saw uh, and then I got to drink this um, like a glass of sugar <laughs> it was super orange super disgusting the first thing I had in the morning and it was like at 10 a.m. and I usually eat breakfast at like 7.38 um, so I felt like shit afterwards <laughs> it was like I'm not used to having a lot of sugar in the morning I don't like it uh, but then I had a full glass of sugar so I had that and then like one hour later I took another blood test just to see how like the, my body is adapting to the sugar and like how my sugar levels go I think that was it uh, but I already got the results back I didn't talk to my doctor yet but I sent them to my sister who's a nurse and she knows most of this so she told me everything looked great the only thing is that I have a bit of iron deficiency but it feels like I always have that and I already eat iron supplements I will just switch that up a bit I usually take this shot in the morning when I have like Feel that I'm low on iron it's like Floradix in Swedish it's Blutsaft and I take it for like two three weeks and then usually it goes better so I'm gonna do that again now and to like get my iron levels up but they were barely not that bad like it was just right under where you're supposed to be so it was nothing bad but yeah that went great hope I will not do a blood test like that again because the full day after was just weird to me because you know when you're used to routines and I like my routines my body likes my routines but when I'm like not doing anything and then I start drinking sugar it's not great I thought I would make a little pregnancy update here yeah so what's new week 26 has finished and now week 27 I've been feeling like it's pretty hard for me to do like pregnancy updates because I feel almost like normal now my belly is starting to grow like seriously growing every single day super exciting the only thing I feel different is that that I can't wear my normal clothing and that I have a baby kicking in my belly every single day and reminds me about what's to come so that's like the only differences I feel and that I can't like I can work out as I want but if I feel like running like I can't do that not intense and like intervals and stuff but that's the only difference and other than that I feel normal the only thing is that I get out of breath easily like when I talk <laughs> but not too bad yet because I still go for my regular walks like every morning what else like my boobs are still growing and they're starting to hurt a bit that's like the only issue that I don't really like because they're just feeling way too big and they're in the way like I don't enjoy it and I don't feel comfortable because they feel like they're taking over my body and I don't like it I prefer my belly to grow than my boobs <laughs> so yeah I think it's time to show you guys the belly I don't know when the last time I showed it but I do like frequently updates every week on my blog so you can check it out with like belly pics and cravings and uh, weight and everything so that's more for me also to keep it if I I'm lucky enough to be pregnant again later on in life that I can go back and like compare and like read how I was feeling and yeah so you can check that out I have a link to my blog below and I also post them on Instagram so you can check that out below too I'm gonna show you the 26 slash 27 belly because I'm entering 27 tomorrow and I think it's like almost four or five weeks ago I showed it last time so let's do it let's start with the front I don't know if the camera is too low you see, I barely don't have a waist anymore. It's growing in there. I think you can really see it from the front now. And then we have the side. 
I don't know if I'm too high or too low, but yeah. Here he is. And he's growing every single day. And now I finally feel that I have like a, an actual pregnancy belly and not just like <laughs> swollen like I did before. That's a little update if you want to see more about like every specific week. I know when I first found out I was pregnant and then I was like googling about how people felt in different weeks and yeah. So you can find that under the pregnancy category on my blog. Now I'm thinking this video would be more like into pregnancy so I'm going to show you some of the stuff we got. We actually didn't buy him anything yet, but I know that when I start, I'm gonna go crazy with clothing. So <laughs> yes, let's start with the things we got. The first gift was from my sister. So this will be his first shoes. How cute. So cute. Since he's gonna be born in mid-November, if he stays in there, which I hope he is, and then it's gonna be a bit colder, so those are gonna be perfect. Look at this little jacket. I can't believe, and you see the ears? I can't believe we're gonna have a baby that's gonna wear this. I wonder what months this is. One to three months. So cute. This brand is Lively. So my sister loves that store, so she got all of it from there. So cute, look at this little hat with the bunny ears. Oh, and his first pajama. Oh my God, this is so cute. And my favorite piece, this one. It's like super soft. So this is gonna be like a comfy to keep him warm. And a matching hat. All these hats, like seriously, is there anything cuter? Oh, I can't wait to dress him. And his first pair of pants. Seriously? And yesterday we were at uh, the store and I found all these like baby Converse and baby Vans and baby Nikes. And I was just like, okay, he's gonna have a full on shoe wardrobe. Better than mine, like with so many sneakers. Cause it's the cutest thing I know with small babies and cute, cool sneakers. And we're gonna match. Uh, what else? So I got this uh, blanket as a gift from, as you know, I work with Lancome. And they sent me this little snuggle. So I think this is gonna be his like blanket that he cuddles. And then we got a little gift from our friends at Homies Marbella. <laughs> Love this one. Born gangsta. We don't want him to be a gangsta, but you know, I think this is cool. So cute. And also this one. Love this one. It's like uh, palm trees, yachts, money signs, and uh, a bottle of probably milk or something. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, that was about it so far. Uh, I think both me and Yoon are like starting to stress out a bit, or mostly me, because I know we're both people that are like, Oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Everything is gonna figure itself out, but this time it's actually not. So now I'm in week 27 tomorrow, so we have to start ordering stuff. Like, we have a bed I will show you later. We have a bed that I actually got from my sister, I will tell you later. Um, but we need like stroller, car seat, uh, changing table. Maybe you don't need that. Like, I don't know really what you need, so I'm gonna ask all my friends with babies, like, what do I actually have to get? Like, I know I want like baby nest, I want the alarm for the baby to have like, to sleep on because otherwise I will pick on him all the time like, are you breathing? Are you breathing? So there is this alarm that you can actually sleep on that will beep if the baby is not breathing or moving. Uh, yeah, so we have to figure out all the things we have to buy, like all the bottles, uh, pacifiers, if, like all these things, but yeah. That's a later problem. But now I'm gonna show you the bed and then I'm gonna show you some oils that I use because I've gotten a lot of questions about like stretch marks and everything and I haven't received any yet. I don't know if oils are helping, but I have one that I really like. Let's, uh, let's go and look at the bed. Okay, so I'm down in our basement and you wanna hear a funny story before I show you the bed. We've had this bed for two years, two and a half. 
Like when my sister, they were living here when Walter was born. So they had this bed for him. And then when they were moving, she was like, do you want to have this bed? Like, we're not going to use it. We're not going to bring it. So maybe it's good for the future. And it's super cute. So I, maybe we're going to start with this. Haven't decided yet, but I'm going to show you because we've had it for like two and a half years and it's cute. So every time people are coming here visiting us, they're like, oh, before I was pregnant, I was like, no, 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 no. So it's this little, it's like a basket, basket bed. So you see, it's like a basket on wheels. And uh, here, I, I remember Walter sleeping in this all the time. And uh, I think it's cute. Like it's easy to roll around and you can fit it everywhere. And I think he's gonna sleep here for a bit and then maybe sleep in our, like you never know. And then when he grows, we're gonna buy a bigger bed anyways. So maybe this is a good start. What do you guys think? I'm gonna ask my sister, but this is what they had, so. And the basket, you don't really need this, I guess, if you just want the basket, but yeah. It fits with our interior here in the house too. <laughs> uh, so that is the first furniture we have, and we've had it for like, yeah, a long time. But we'll see if uh, that is actually gonna be the bed or not. We have a stroller, I think we've decided, and um, yeah, then we just have to find all the other things. I will make a blog post where I ask for all your tips that you actually need for a baby, like a newborn. But yeah, I will see when I do that. Now you've seen the bed. Maybe it's fun to ask you some questions. Yeah, let's do that. Wow. That's B. Prepping. You know, just doing the regular Saturday. <laughs> Big cooking. We, we haven't done this in so long. No, 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 no not even. No, <laughs> we haven't done like a big cooking. We have a bean mix, we have quinoa, Luna's cooking up some chicken, we have chickpeas in the oven and the butternut squash and I put some tofu in uh, marinade. Yeah, we're prepping. But I have uh, some hidden... Um, lemon. Lemon, whatever they're called. Ah, uh, seeds. Lemon seeds, exactly. But this video is like a pregnancy update video, so I'm gonna ask you some questions. Ask me? Yeah. Shoot away. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Very much. <laughs> you hurry up, little guy. Yeah, he should wait in there until he's ready. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Well, time can you hurry up then. Do you know what week I'm in? You are entering week 27 on Sunday. Yes, tomorrow. I got it right. Yes. Okay, good. So how many months left? How many months? 38 weeks, right? No, 40. Well, 38 to 40. Yeah. Um, Good job. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert in the matter, but I try to keep up. Yes. Any more questions? Yeah, how many more weeks? <laughs> or how many more um, months? Um, well, so you're in 27 and a half now, so you have 11 to 12 weeks. Well, say 12. I'm thinking mid August. Months. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever changed a diaper? No. <laughs> I have never touched a diaper. No? No. But you've seen a diaper. I have seen a diaper. You've never changed a diaper. No, like when would I? No, that's true. Did you ever dress a baby? No. Did you ever push a stroller? No. No? I don't think anyone trusted you with that. Okay, do you have any experience with babies? No. 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 Will you take all the nights because you barely sleep and I need sleep? Yeah, I mean, I can't. Like, I don't think on the vlogs we don't really mention the fact that I have a massive sleeping disorder. Yeah. So insomnia. Like, like baby screaming like woo in front of him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why you want him to hurry up. Yeah. So uh, at least uh, you know I'll happily take nights. Yeah. Well, that was all my questions. As no long more. as long as you're excited and. Uh, I'm a quick learner. Whenever yes. there is anything that I need to learn, I am an expert at becoming a total geek in the subject and learn everything there is to know. And so I'm not worried and no lack of uh, dedication here. You need to choose the car seat, the baby car seat. No, the, I got the car, the, the whole, that whole thing covered. Okay, yeah, no so problem. I fixed the rest. Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, not the rest, but. <laughs> I think the rest is a bit more than just the car seat. Yeah, the clothing and shoes and sneakers and stuff, that's on me. I think that you 
seem to love that more than anything. Yeah. So I'm gonna... How spoiled is he gonna be? Very. Yeah, but we still don't want him to be super spoiled. He will have the opportunity to get whatever he wants, but he will have to work for it. Yes. I think really that's the key. Me too. So that was it from this uh, that to be questions. Yeah, maybe uh, the uh, viewers have some additional questions. So. Yeah, that can be fun to ask in the next video. And in terms of the me being very happy that it's a boy, now that I know we have a boy, I'm like, yeah, but it'd be so cute with a little girl. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think it's... It doesn't matter. It's like such a mind-bender to wrap your head around it. That it's yeah. Like, as long as it's a healthy baby, that's yeah, all that matters. 100%. Yes. Okay. Now let's go back to cooking. He's gonna get good food. Oh yes, Master Chef Dad. Yeah. I just wanted to quickly show you what we did. We did like a bean mix. You did some chicken. Here is the crispy tofu in like a soy marinade. Quinoa. I boiled some broccoli. Chickpeas in the oven. Yoon. I started on my plate. We have some wraps. And then the, uh, what's it called? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. The butternut squash. Butternut squash, yeah, that's true. Pretty ambitious uh, Saturday dinner, I would say. Very. But it's so nice to just cook and chill. I agree. And now no. we have food for at least like, uh, I mean, until tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> bon appetit. Two big men in the house. So guys, before I end this vlog, I thought I would show you like the oils I use and everything and I just had a shower and now I'm gonna, I use this like once or twice a day, depending on, I use it always after a shower. Sometimes I shower twice a day and sometimes once. So then I use this one, it's from a brand called Mamma Mio and um, it's not a collaboration but they sent me this to try and I really like them. So you have this oil, which is my favorite, and then we have like a body butter. So I usually use this one and then this one, and I use it from like here all the way down. <laughs> and then I use this one from Biotherm for the rest of my body. This is my favorite, and this has been my favorite for years. Now I'm just gonna show you quickly how I use it. It's actually a nice ritual. So I take like three pumps maybe, and then like just massage it. So yeah, that's how I do. And it smells fantastic. I'm sure there are a lot of brands that are really good, but this is the one I've been using now and I really like it. I don't know if it helps. Some people say it's hormones, but I'm thinking that if I drink a lot of water and I use this, maybe I won't get any stretch marks. And if I still do, then at least I know I tried my best, so. And if I get it, it's okay, just that I don't want them if I don't have to but if I get it it's okay so yeah that was it from this pregnancy vlog update the next vlog will be like a normal vlog from Marbella probably I think it might be the last one no I might be able to do two vlogs from here before we leave for a while I will see you guys soon thanks for watching ciao